If a thousand kilograms equals a ton, what about three thousand kilograms? Oh, I know it, teacher! Okay, go on. Tan, tan, tan. We need to eat healthier. No. The last patient who didn't change their diet after I told them to died. Oh my goodness! In a plane crash. That sounds unrelated. I'm the one that crashed it, so don't disobey me. <gasps> Quick, keep scrolling if you get addicted easily. This game is number one on the racing category, and I can't stop playing it. You try and get to the finish line before anybody else, and you could pick up boards to get across the water as a shortcut. If you want to try it for yourself, click the link on my profile, then press shortcut game to download it for free. <laughs> Bro, why did you throw an apple at that kid? He said onions are the only food that makes you cry, so I was proving him wrong. <laughs> Do you want to go out for a drink? No, I don't drink. Okay, then let's get something to eat. No, I'm on a diet. Let's go out for fresh air. I don't breathe. What is your qualification? I'm a PhD. And what exactly do you mean by PhD? Past high school with difficulty. Oh my gosh, Rebecca, it's been such a long time. Come on in. Oh no, I don't want to take up too much of your time. I just came to drop this off. Oh, please, come on in. I'll get you something to drink. Would you like coffee or tea? Well, if you insist, I'll have coffee, please. No, 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 no. <laughs> Luke, can you go get us some coffee, please? Ha ha ha! Yeah, of course. It would be my pleasure. Jen Ortega, again? Do you remember me from last week on Omegle? You know, it's fine. I didn't expect you to. Anyways, I do have one question for you, if you don't mind. So let's say in a couple years from now, I decide I want to try and become an actor. Do you have any tips on, like, how to remember your lines? How do you remember your lines? I have a photographic memory, so all I really have to do is read over the lines once or twice, sometimes out loud if I really need it, and then I'm pretty much good. Really? Something that helps though, if you're having trouble with a line, if somebody's asking you a question, it's not going to be difficult because if you listen to what they're asking you, you remember, oh, this is the answer. Hmm. You know? Yeah, okay, thank you. I do have one more question, it's kind of weird, but do you know what my dad's name is? James. What? How did you know? I love you. I love you so much. It's it, crazy. It talked to him. No, no, where did she go? My stupid internet. Dad, I decided I'm getting married. That's great. Do you have a girl in mind? Yes, Grandma. She always tells me she loves me, she's really good at cooking, and she's the best storyteller. <laughs> That's really nice of her, but there's just a small problem. What is it? She's my mother. You can't marry my mother. Why not? You married mine. <laughs> Did you have your lunch? Did you have your lunch? I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Are you copying me? Are you copying me? Let's go shopping. Yes, I had my lunch. How your parents think you will act when they tell you to smarten up? I ain't gonna cry too long. I'm back on my drip. Drip my drip my drip. Right back on my drip. Yeah. I ain't gonna cry too long. I'm back on my drip. Drip my drip my drip. Yeah. Right back yep. home. I'm gonna show you how you can keep using TikTok even if it gets banned. TikTok is getting banned from the App Store this Sunday, but as long as you have it downloaded, you'll still be able to use it. However, they have until November 12th to make a deal before it's permanently banned. So if you want to be on the safe side, click the link on my profile, then press TikTok hack and download the app. Once you open the app, you're going to want to change your location to somewhere that still has it, like Canada. Since it's only getting banned in America, TikTok will think you're from Canada and you'll still be able to use it. Here's the only way to survive when you're stuck in a sinking vehicle. As soon as your vehicle makes contact with the water, undo your seatbelt and roll down the window as fast as you can. Once you've done that, immediately get out through the window before your vehicle is fully underwater. You won't be able to open your door because of the force of water pressing from the outside. If your window won't roll down, you'll need to break it. You can use a heavy object like a hammer or you can buy a special car window breaking tool online to keep in your vehicle. But if you don't have anything in your vehicle, you can use a removable headrest and hit the window with the metal prongs. If you still can't get out through the window, wait until your vehicle is fully underwater so the pressure inside and outside is equal. Then with the small amount of air left in your vehicle, take a deep breath, open the door and follow the air bubbles to surface. Here is the only way to survive a tsunami. 
If you want a chance of surviving, you'll need to be able to identify the early signs of a tsunami. In most cases, an earthquake happens before a tsunami, so protect yourself from that first, then get to high ground as quickly as possible. Another sign is the water will pull back and expose more land. Don't go investigate because you'll be putting your life at risk for when the water comes back. Instead, head in the opposite direction. Try to get 2 miles away from the ocean or at least 100 feet above sea level to be safe. If you don't have time to get far away, look for a tall, sturdy building and get to the top as fast as possible. If you can't get to a building, find something and hold on to it. When you think it's over, it probably won't be. Tsunami waves can be anywhere from 5 minutes to an hour apart. So stay in a safe place until you hear from your local officials. Here's the only way to survive a falling elevator. Most people think you should jump right before you hit the ground. However, it'll be difficult to jump when you're falling. And secondly, if you're falling at a speed of 50 miles per hour and you jump 5 miles per hour into the air, you'll still hit the ground going 45 miles per hour. Now before I tell you what you should do, I found this app that lets you FaceTime with your favorite celebrities. Press this button on my profile if you want to try it too. Now instead of jumping, you should lie flat on your back, because this way the impact is spread equally through your whole body. But just remember, with today's modern safety features, your chances of dying are 1 in 10 million. I keep getting asked how to prank people by changing their text messages, so I'm going to show you. Just click the button on my profile, then press texting prank and download it. Then open up iMessage and click the flame on the bottom. There's 20 messages to choose from and you could even customize your own. Here's an example, one time my mom said, can you do your chores? I said, can you do them for me? And she said, no. But I changed her message to yes and said thank you. Where do you live? With my parents. Where do they live? With me. Where do you all live? Together. <laughs> The most famous magic tricks were performed. The secret to the classic trick where a woman's cut in half by a saw is to use a box divided in two parts. The woman lies down in one box and fake feet come out the other box. To swallow the sword without getting hurt, the magicians place their head up to align their throat and stomach. This way the sword enters in a straight line and doesn't touch anything. The guillotine is one of the most dangerous and famous tricks out there. The secret so that nothing goes wrong is that the bottom of the guillotine has hidden compartments and blocks to stop the blade before it reaches the person's neck. To perform the trick where one magician lies with his back towards the wheels of a truck and the other magician drives over him, all the weight of the truck is on the opposite side of the magician, so he doesn't really feel that much pain. Today we're going to be learning about square root. Oh, everybody line up at the door. Hey, no running. We need to go in a single file line. Leave your backpack, Luke. We don't have time. But it's already on my back. I said we don't have time. Now everybody, follow me. Uh, miss, do you think we can... Hey Cindy, how's it going? Good, how are you? I'm doing better now that I'm talking to you. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to ask you if you wanted to go watch a movie with me tonight. Oh, <gasps> yes, of course! What time? Here, why don't you put your number in my phone, then text me your address, and I'll pick you up at 7 tonight. Sounds good! Hi Luke! Oh, uh, hi there Cindy, uh, I didn't see you there. How's it going? Good? Nice weather we're having, hey? Uh, not really. It's raining. Oh, uh, right, yeah. I have to go to class. Uh, it was nice talking to you. What? Can I have one? Yeah, can I have one too? No! I brought these for myself. Remember last week when I gave you a piece of gum? Yeah, and remember when I gave you a dollar? I've never even talked to you guys in my entire life. Again? I'm in love with Molly. Hey! <laughs> What's up? Are you good at math? Yeah, I'd say so. Can you show me how to solve question five? Question five? Uh, uh, uh yeah, uh, yeah, I, I just gotta go to the bathroom first. I'll be right back. <laughs> good thing I have photo math. Let me just take a picture of the question and boom, it gives me the answer and how to solve it. If you want to get the app too, just press the button on Luke's TikTok profile. Sorry about that. So, first you would do the brackets, so you do 1 plus 2, and that equals 3. Then you do 6 divided by 2, and that would also equal 3, and it would leave you with 3 times 3, and that equals 9. Thank you so much. You're so smart. Do you want to go out sometime? <gasps> yes! Thank you, photo math. How to get a girlfriend. Step 1. Wear your hat backwards. Step 2. 
be yourself. <laughs> hey, close the door. Uh. Step three, brush your teeth. <laughs> Are you serious? Stop it. Step four. Don't have the name Luke. You'll never get a girlfriend. That's it. <laughs> hey, hey, stop crying. I barely even hit you. Is everything all right in there? <laughs> Mommy! That's it. I'm coming to see what's going on. If you stop crying, I'll get you McDonald's. Okay. What's the matter? Nothing, Mommy. He just beat me in the game. Hey, son, can you pass me the drill, please? Yeah. Hey, don't do that! You're wasting the battery! We should really go to bed. It's already 3 a.m. Yeah, I'm tired. Okay, good night. Good night. <laughs> you guys need to be quiet. I'm trying to sleep. Sorry, Mommy. We're gonna go to sleep now. Here's Johnny! <laughs> Hello? Hey Luke, do you want to come to my birthday party today? There's going to be lots of girls, including Cindy. Did you say Cindy? Yep. When should I come? Well, the party starts at 3, so you can come a bit earlier if you want. Okay, sounds good. I'll see you then. Oh, one more thing. It's a pool party, so bring your bathing suit and a towel. Did you say pool party? Yeah, I gotta go get ready though, so I'll see you in a bit, okay? I just need to buy some towels, then we can go home. Can I go look at toys? Yes, but I'm not buying anything for you today, okay? That's okay. I just want to go look. Okay, once I find the towels, I'll come to the toy section. Are you ready to go, Luke? Mom, look! No! No, Mom, you don't understand. This slingshot is really rare, and there's only one in stock. I told you, I'm not buying you anything today. Please, Mom! I'll do anything if you buy this for me. I won't get another toy for a long time. No, now put it back, and let's go home. Sure. Miss, I finished the work. The, the work. I feel the color draining from my face. Oh my gosh, I'm calling 911. Hey, no phones in class, but he just passed out. It doesn't matter, put the phone away. Your last birthday card here is from Grandma. Thank you so much, Grandma. Why don't I put that money in a safe spot so you don't lose it? Okay, good idea. Do you know where Dad is? I'm pretty sure he's outside in the garage. Okay, thank you. Hey, Dad, where did you put my money? What am I doing? Eh, not much. I just picked up this brand new tool today, so I'm just in the garage testing it out. I'm done. I'm so full that if I eat any more, I'm gonna throw up. Let me take that away from you then. Honey, do we have any dessert? Actually, I just picked up some brownies today. I'll bring them over. I thought you said you were full. I was. Luke, can you sweep the floor before I get home from work, please? <sighs> Fine. All right, I'll see you later. Just a reminder to sweep the floor. <sighs> Whatever, I'll do it after this game. I'm home. Uh... So, did you sweep the floor? <sighs> no, I forgot. Are you serious? Honey, is everything okay? 
Uh-huh. All right, class, I finally finished marking the test you guys wrote last week, so I'm going to come around and hand them back. Here you go, Luke. Thank you. Jeez, I really need to clean my binder. All right, what do I not need? Good morning, class. I had some troubles with my computer last night, so I'm going to need that test that I gave you guys yesterday back so I could re-enter the marks. All right, I'm headed to the spa for the day, so I'll see you two later tonight. Try safe, dear. Bye, Mom. It's looking like it's going to be hot and sunny out today, which is perfect because this morning at 8 a.m., the yearly theme park opened. And if you remember from previous years, it's only open one day of the year. So stop by at any time today and have some fun. Dad, can we go to that? Maybe in a bit, but don't bother me about it or we won't be going, okay? Okay. So, did you guys do anything fun today? No. Oh yeah, didn't you want to go to that theme park today? Why didn't you remind me? I would have taken you. No, 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 Ah! They're off! They're off! You guys want me to leave them off for now? Yeah! Okay. Much better. Hey, turn it back on! I'm trying to read my book. The mall, she's seen her friend Luke. Sweet dreams are made of the ends. Who am I to disagree? Travel the world and... <sighs> Sorry guys, it looks like we won't be watching a movie today. I can't get it to load. Miss, can I try something? Yeah, go ahead. Was the answer A or B? A. 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 B. <laughs> How could you get that wrong? Actually, he's right. The answer is B. Mom, where's my laptop? It's on the table. It's not here. Check again. Put your hand on my shoulder. What did I just witness? That's it, I'm taking your phone! <laughs> if you had the option in between brains and a million dollars, what would you choose? A million dollars. I would choose brains. Obviously, because everyone chooses what they don't have. Mom, look who's at the bottom of the stairs! Who's at the bottom, honey? Whoa, 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 whoa! Get away from there! You're gonna fall! Get away from there before you hurt yourself! I'm tired. Hey Luke, can I ask you a quick favor? Oh my goodness! This place is a mess! Mom, look what I got on my chest! Let me see, honey. What? How could you do so bad? Honey, his diaper needs to be changed and you've never done it before. You should try it. I'm kind of busy right now. I'll do the next one. Okay, it's your turn to change the diaper. Oh, I didn't mean the next diaper. I meant the next baby. I want you. Hello, I need your mine. help. Okay, what is you it, sir? Know that I Two girls are fighting over me. So, mine. what's the emergency? Until the ugly I one's winning. You mine. Put your hand in mine. What do you think about our love? You know Try to I count the stars in the sky. Aw, it's infinity? No, Until it's just a waste of time. <laughs> Hello, sir. Do you have any jobs for me to do? Well, you can pay my porch. How much do you charge? How about $50? Deal. The paint and everything is in the garage. I'll be inside if you need anything else. Does she realize that the porch goes all the way around the house? She should. She was standing on it. I'm here to collect my money. You're finished already? Yup, and I had paint left over, so I gave it two coats. Here you go. And by the way, it's not a Porsche, it's a Ferrari. <gasps> Mom, I'm a genius. Why do you say that? I finally finished that puzzle I've been working on. Okay, and? It only took me a year, and on the box it says for two to five years.
Hello. Would you like to make a donation for the swimming pool that the town's building? Yeah, of course. Just one second. Here you go. <laughs> hey, son. What is it, Dad? I want you to pass the exam this time. Okay, I'll get a hundred percent. Are you joking? You started first. Make sure you bring two pairs of pants to the golf course. Why would I do that? Just in case you get a hole in one. Explain mysteries caught at schools. In 1961 at Westall High School in Melbourne, several students spotted a UFO that flew at low altitude. It made its way through trees until it took flight again and disappeared. Another unexplained mystery is the strange stench that hit a high school in Rhode Island. The stench which was apparently from the cafeteria was so strong that they had to suspend final classes. But to this day they still have no clue what it was from. The Cokeville miracle occurred at an elementary school, where a former police officer and his wife brought a bomb to the school. They kidnapped the entire school in exchange for a large sum of money. The bomb exploded and the couple died on the spot. But thankfully, none of the children were harmed. Mom, can you buy me a new- No! But mom, just listen. No! But I want a new book. Oh, okay. A MacBook. <gasps> 503 bricks on a plane and one falls off. How many are left? 502. How do you put an elephant in a fridge? You can't fit an elephant in a fridge. Open the door, put the elephant in, and close it. How do you put a giraffe in a fridge? Open the door, put the giraffe in, and close the door. No. Open the door, take the elephant out, put the drop in, and close it. The Lion King is having a birthday party. All the animals are there except for one. Which one? Let me guess. The lion. No. The giraffe because he's in a fridge. Wow. Sally has to get across a large river with lots of alligators. They're dangerous, but she gets across safely. How? Sally stepped on the alligator's mouth. The gators are at the party. But Sally dies anyway. Why? She drowned? No, she got hit in the head by the flying brick. Dad, I'm hungry. Hi, hungry. I'm Dad. Dad, I'm serious. You're not serious. You're hungry. Are you joking? No, I'm Dad. How much is half of eight? Up and down or across? What do you mean? Well, up and down makes three and across the middle leaves a zero. <gasps> Why can't I go to my friend's house? Because I said so. But all my friends are gonna be there. If they jumped off a cliff, would you do it too? Of course not. That's completely different. This isn't fair. Wait until you get into the real world. Oh, shut up. Did you just say what I thought you said? If you heard me say it, then why are you asking? You have beautiful teeth. Aw, you know thanks. They remind me of a song. Which one? Black and yellow. <laughs> You know Strangest things found on beaches. In 2016, thousands of snowballs were found on a beach in Siberia. It's said that they were formed from wind and cold weather. It's the first time something like this has ever happened and probably the last. If you've ever thought about sending a message in a bottle, somebody already did, 101 years ago. A German fisherman found a message and actually managed to get it to the daughter of the sender. Although it looks like something out of a movie, a robotic hand was found on a beach near New York and no one really knows where it came from. And if that one wasn't strange enough, a dinosaur bone was found on a beach in Washington. Scientists analyzed it and said it could be from a T-Rex or a Velociraptor, and it's estimated to be around 80 million years old. And finally, the creepiest one of all. Between 2007 and 2008, multiple feet were found still in shoes on the beaches in Canada. In total, seven feet were found and there's still no explanation. Reason there's UFO sightings in Area 51. In the 1950s, US planes were doing low-flying recon missions over Russia. They did these missions to obtain more information because they were enemies. But they were constantly worried about being spotted and shot down. So in 1954, the president authorized the development of a high-flying top-secret aircraft. They needed a location that wasn't easily accessed by the public, so they chose Area 51. In 1955, there were spottings of UFOs in that area. And this is because they were testing the new aircraft that they built. It could fly higher than 60,000 feet in the air. And at the time, normal aircrafts could only fly 10,000 to 20,000 feet in the air. So when pilots would spot this top secret aircraft above them, they would think it's a UFO. You know how to do question 11? No, I'm not on that question yet. You'll have to ask the teacher. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay. Mom? The receipt's in the bag. Thank you. You too. Hey man, how's it going? 
Holy crap, I just fell off the 50 foot ladder. Oh my god, are you okay? Yeah, it's a good thing I fell off the first step. Here's the dark theory about Bikini Bottom. The Reddit user Catmaster pointed out that Bikini Bottom is named like that because it's directly under Bikini Atoll, which is where they did nuclear testing from 1946 to 1958. And because of this, the creatures that were living in that area have mutated and that's why they can talk. Another Reddit user said that chipmunks were among the animals kept on the Navy ship during these tests. And that's why Sandy wears a full protection suit and turns into a strong creature during hibernation. Biggest things ever stolen. A tank from the California Army was stolen by an unemployed plumber in 1995. The man destroyed everything in his path as the police chased him for 20 minutes. A beach in Jamaica was stolen in 2008. Police still don't know who did it, but they took sand that corresponds to 500 truckloads of sand. A World War II fighter plane was stolen by an Air Force commander. He restored it and sold it for over $300,000. This 3,000 pound bell was stolen from a Buddhist temple. The bell was only used for special occasions and was priceless to the monks, but it was sold for $500 a year later. And believe it or not, people in Mahatma village in India stole a mountain peak. They worked 11 hours a day to cut the rock. They stole it then sold it so they could feed their families. Answers to three questions about planes you've always wanted to ask. Why don't they have the same seatbelts as cars? For shoulder straps to work, it has to be attached to something sturdy like a car frame. And airplane walls aren't equipped for that. If they were, it would make the plane heavier, making it burn more fuel. Plane seatbelts have lift lever buckles, making it stronger, and so you can't accidentally open it. Why do planes have red and green lights on their wings? The red light is always on the left wing, and the green light is always on the right wing. This way, other pilots and traffic control can tell which way the plane is flying. The two different colors also make it less likely for the plane to be confused with something like a drone. Why are the windows round? round Rounded corners help distribute stress, reducing the chance of it breaking. Square windows are dangerous because the sharp angles are easy to crack because of air pressure. Five coolest houses in the world. The transparent houses in Tokyo and consists of three floors with walls that are completely see-through. According to the people who built it, it was inspired by ancestors who lived in trees. In Hong Kong, there's a house that's 105 square meters with walls that move. Storage spaces unfold to create 24 individualized rooms. In Australia, there's a $700,000 house that's built on a turntable and it makes a complete rotation every 30 minutes. In Malibu, California, there's the skateboard house. It's a house designed by a former world champion skateboarder and the inside consists of a large skate park. Finally, we have the Hobbit House in Wales. It was created by a photographer who's a fan of the movie The Lord of the Rings. The cost was $5,200 and only natural materials were used. Three most terrifying places to swim. This pool in China has machinery made to create waves. But in 2019 it malfunctioned and made a bigger wave than the pool was designed for. It sent people flying in the air and landing on tiles. 44 people were injured but there is luckily no deaths. This place in Hawaii called the Pool of Death is a place to swim made out of volcanic rocks. The water is clear and the perfect temperature for swimming. But at any time waves from the ocean can throw people against the rocks and pull them underwater. Which has caused many deaths. This popular tourist spot called Devil's Pool is the deadliest place to swim on earth. Against the waterfall's edge is surrounded by rocks making it the perfect place to swim and take pictures but one wrong move and you'll fall to your death babe do you think i'm pretty or ugly i'd say both what do you mean you're pretty ugly <gasps> okay class we're gonna start by sharing our dreams what's yours luke my dream is to earn a million dollars per year like my dad wow your dad earns that much no that's also my dad's dream <gasps> if i won the lottery what would you do i'd leave you and take half I just won ten dollars. Here's five. Now get out. <gasps> if you call me fat again, I'll leave you. Wait, dear, don't do it. Think about her son. Son? Yeah, aren't you pregnant? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Do you want to come over at like 5 tonight? I work after school till 4.30, so that works out good. Okay, sounds good. Hey, the bell doesn't dismiss you. I do. Then it doesn't decide when I arrive. I have a feeling that you are cheating on the test. What? Prove it. Well, one question was who was the first president? The girl beside you put George Washington and so did you. So? Everyone knows he was the first president. Well, just wait a minute. The next question was who freed the slaves? The girl beside you put Abraham Lincoln and so did you. Well, I read the history textbook last night and I remembered that. The next question was who was the president during the Louisiana Purchase? She put I don't know and you put me neither. <gasps> what kind of boyfriend are you looking for? A boy who doesn't drink or smoke, and he must wake up at 5am and go to sleep at 9pm. I know where you could find a boy like that. 
Island. You do? Where? In jail. <gasps> do you know how to solve this? No, I don't. Okay, I'll erase it. Until I make you mine. You know that I want. Do you know the difference between right and wrong? Yes, I do. Alright, if I reached into a man's pocket and took his wallet with all his money, what would I be? You'd be his wife. <laughs> you're so short. And I'm glad that you're tall. Why? It gives me more of you to dislike. I've got a joke. Okay, what is it? What do you call cheese that isn't yours? Nacho cheese. Aww, how did you know? Because it's nacho joke. Let me copy your homework. Do it yourself. No, I'm not a nerd. Me neither. I'm just smarter than you. Lawyers hope you get sued. Doctors hope you get sick. Cops hope they are criminal. Mechanics hope you have car troubles, but only a thief wishes you success. When you say forward or back, your lips move in those directions. We've woken up thousands of times, but we're still not used to it. Can I get some medications for hiccups, please? Ow! Oh, what did you do that for? Well, you don't have hiccups anymore, do you? I never had hiccups. My wife does. <gasps> How much milk do these cows give? Which one, the black one or the brown one? The brown one. A couple of liters per day. And the black one? A couple of liters per day. I see. What do you give them to eat? Which one? Black or brown? Black. It eats grass. And the other one? Grass. Why do you keep asking which one when the answers are the same? Because the black one's mine. Oh, then whose is the brown one? It's also mine. Ah! I'm not feeling very well. Can I talk to you for a minute? Yeah, for sure. I'm afraid he's not gonna make it, unless you treat him like a king and you're at his side 24 hours a day. So what did the doctor say? Well, she said you probably won't make it. If you can make me laugh, I'll PayPal you one cent. I... no. What about a dollar? Oh, oh, I don't know, that's a big bank. Mm-hmm. Um, no. <laughs> what about two? No. Three? It's not worth my time. Five dollars. Take it or leave it. What can I get with five dollars? You could get a Big Mac. I could. I definitely could. Alright, try. Okay. Um, I, I don't know. <laughs> that was too funny, man. I... No joke, send it. Why? Because I sent you the money, you made me laugh. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. You actually sent me. <laughs> Why? It's Christmas. What are you hey, guys building? Um, I guess you'll find out. You haven't built anything yet. It's the foundation. What? First off, why do you watch other people play video games? The same reason you watch other people play sports. <gasps> you remind me of something. What? Monday. Why? Nobody likes you. I know. We're gonna do a memory test. What's three times three? Two hundred and seventy-four. It's your turn. What's three times three? Tuesday. Okay, your turn. What's three times three? Nine? Yes, that's it. How did you get the answer? Simple. I subtracted two hundred and seventy-four from Tuesday. <coughs> Secrets movie theaters don't want you to know. Movie theaters earn very little from ticket sales. That's why they decided to lower the cost of tickets and raise the cost of food. So the earnings would go entirely to the movie theater. Food combos won't always save you money. Sometimes it's just a strategy to make you think it's the best option. So next time, check if it's better to buy a combo or buy the food separately. Sometimes there's people yelling at the cabin for the movie to start. But what they don't know is that the cabin is completely empty. Thanks to new technology, human assistance isn't needed. Movies will never start at the time the ticket says it will. This way they'll get more people to watch the ads before the movie. And if you ever thought you were cool sneaking into another movie than the one that you bought, the employees don't really care as long as there are seats available. Secret messages hidden in popular logos. In Baskin Robbins, the B and the R also have the number 31 to represent how many flavors they have. In the Tour de France logo, the O, U, and the R are shaped as someone riding a bike. The bottom of the Levi's logo is the same shape as the pockets on their jeans. The coat of arms of Bern, which is where Toblerone chocolate is made, has a bear on it. And so does the logo. The tire company Continental has the C and the O shaped as a tire. Now before I tell you the craziest one, I found this app that tells you your celebrity lookalike. Just press this button on my profile if you want to try it too. The reason the Apple logo has a bite in it is so people wouldn't mistake it as a cherry. The test results are out, come with me and we'll go see them. I'm with my dad, can you look for me? And if I fail one subject, text me good morning to you. And if I fail two subjects, text me good morning to you and your dad. Knock knock. Who's there? Where when? 
you. Where, when, who? My place, tomorrow, me and you. Go clean your room! Well, it's my house! No, it's my room! Then go clean it! Okay, I'll call 911. I'm calling, but it just keeps coming up busy. Can you tell me what's going on? That's not Herb. Um, uh, Mom, it's Herb. He's sitting in the living room now. When are you coming home? You let him in? You have to do everything I say, okay? Okay. What's he doing right now? Now I want you guys to comment if I should tell her or send a picture. Based on your comments, I'll pick one and post part three tomorrow. But if you want to find out what happens right now and read a bunch more stories, just click the link on my profile and download the app. So what brings you into the doctor's office today? My back always hurts when I wake up in the morning. Then just wake up in the afternoon. <gasps> What happened? Why are you crying? I was cheated on by my own dad. Tell me what happened. I needed money, so I told my dad to send me money for books. Then? He sent me the books! <laughs> what is your first wish? I wish I were rich. It's done. What is your second wish, Rich? This is on Earth that no human has set foot on. This place is the Island of Snakes. It's in Brazil and is only visited by Brazilian military and some scientific researchers. You're not allowed to go there because there's one to five snakes everywhere you step. And the Golden Snake, which is one of the most dangerous snakes in the world, lives there. Grand Carpunsum is a mountain located in the Kingdom of Bhutan. It's over 7,000 meters in the air and has never been touched by a human and never will. Because in 1994, climbing over 6,000 meters in the air was prohibited for religious reasons. And lastly, North Sentinel Island. The Indian government banned any contact with the island because of the aggressiveness from the people that live there. Recently, two fishermen decided to explore the island and they were killed by the people that live there. Photos you're not allowed to see. You're not allowed to go into Area 51, but a pilot named Gabriel Ziefman broke those rules and flew over top. He took this photo in 2020 and it's the best one we have. Cameras have always been banned in the Supreme Court, but in 1932, Eric Solomon snuck in a camera. He pretended to have a broken arm and hid his camera inside the cast. Five years later, there was another photo taken. A lady cut a hole in her purse and put a small camera in it. Since in 1878, the most powerful people in the world meet at this forest in California, where they do lots of ceremonies and rituals. This includes presidents, billionaires, and business people. But a photographer named Gabriel Mulan snuck in and took a picture of them doing a ritual. Can I have a cigarette? I thought you quit smoking. I'm in the process of quitting. Right now I'm in the middle of phase one. What's phase one? I've quit buying. <gasps> Did you do your chores? No, not yet. I'll do them after I finish this game. That's it. Give me your controller right now. I'm taking this for a month. Now go do your chores before I take something else away. Gerald, did you do your chores yet? My name's Connor. I know, I haven't yet. Can I do them after I finish this show? Oh yeah, whatever. As long as they're done by the end of the day. Sweetie, did you do your chores yet? No, I'm too busy playing a game on my phone. You know what, my little angel? It's okay. I'll go do them myself because I don't want you to hurt yourself before your baseball game in four months. Sir, your x-ray showed a broken rib. What? Will I survive? Don't worry, we fixed it with Photoshop. Where's my birthday gift? Can you see the red hot Ferrari on the other side of the road? Yes, yes, yes! Oh my gosh, I love you! I bought the same color nail polish for you. Dad, how are people born? Adam and Eve made babies, then their babies became adults and had babies and so on. Mom, how are people born? We were monkeys, then we evolved to become what we are now. You lied to me! No, your mom was talking about her side of the family. <gasps> Why does my shoulder hurt so much? Oh, I know, let me just switch it up. What does it mean when my shoulder hurts? What? No, 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 no. This can't be true. What if I search... What does it mean when you lift your arm and your shoulder hurts? Oh, no, 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 no. Please, please, please. What if I try?
say another word, say it. What's the matter? What do you want? Uh, I, I need to go to the hospital right now. Okay, go get in the car. So, what brings you in today, young man? My shoulder really hurts when I lift up my arm. Hmm. By any chance do you lift weights? Of course. Can't you see how swole I am? Of course I can. Well, it sounds to me like you just have a pulled muscle. Phew! Out! Mom, can you give me a hundred dollars? No! Do you think money grows on trees? What is money made of? Paper. And where does paper come from? <gasps> I like your tan. Thank you. Orange is my favorite color. <laughs> Mine's yellow. That's why I like your teeth. Honey, I have to ask you something really important. Who do you love more, me or your father? I love you both equally. Okay, well if I went to Italy and your father went to Japan, where would you go? Mm, Japan. See? I knew it. You love your dad more than me. No, I just always wanted to go to Japan. Oh, okay. Well, if I went to Japan and your father went to Italy, where would you go? I'd go to Italy. See? You do love your dad more than me. No, it's just I would go to Italy because I would have already been to Japan. Hello? Hey, man. Are you busy right now? Uh, kind of. Why? Well, I have something really important to tell you. What are you doing? I'm watching a live stream. Do you mind calling me back when it's over? Yeah, of course. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. I'd like to buy some perfume for my wife's birthday. Okay, well this one is our best seller. And how much is it? It's $50. That's a bit too much. Do you have anything cheaper? We have this one for $30. That's still too much. This one's $15. What I mean is I'd like to see something really cheap. Well then here. I took my medicine at 6 o'clock today. Why? I told you to take them at 9. I know, but I wanted a surprise the bacteria. How much would you sell your horse for? I'd sell it to you for $2,000. 2000 Deal. Perfect. You can come and pick him up tomorrow. Hey, I'm here to pick up the horse. I have some bad news. Unfortunately, the horse passed away. You know what, it's fine. Just give me my money back. I can't do that. I already spent it all. <sighs> okay, then give me the dead horse. Why? What are you going to do with it? I'm going to raffle it off. You can't raffle off a dead horse. Of course I can. I just won't tell anyone that it's dead. Hey man, what happened to the dead horse? Did you end up raffling it off? <laughs> I sure did. I sold 500 tickets for $25 each and made a total of 25000 Did anyone complain? Just the guy that won. So I gave him his money back. <laughs> And this is my favorite room. It's the office. Are there any ghosts? Any what? Does the house have any ghosts? Oh, no, of course not. <sighs> Dang it. You want ghosts? It's just, I don't have many friends, and I'm going to be lonely here by myself, so I'd like some people to talk to. Well, I'm sorry, but there's no ghosts here. Shall we move on to the rest of the house? Excuse me, I'm in the middle of a conversation. Oh. Um, with who? I'll take it. How's your meal tasting, sir? Can I speak to the manager, please? Of course, just one moment. I heard you wanted to speak to me? Yeah, I wanted to compliment you on your very clean kitchen. Clean kitchen? Pfft. Have you seen our kitchen? No, but it must be clean because all this food tastes like soap. <coughs> Is there a problem, officer? Ma'am, you are speeding. Oh, I see. Can I see your license, please? I'd give it to you, but I don't have one. You don't have one? I lost it four years ago for drunk driving. I see. Can I have your vehicle registration papers, please? I can't do that. Why not? I stole this car. Stole it? Yes, and I killed the owner. You what? His body's in the trunk. I need backup. Ma'am, could you step out of your vehicle, please? Is there a problem, sir? One of my officers told me that you stole this car and murdered the owner. Murdered the owner? Yes, could you please open the trunk? Is this your car? Yes, here are the registration papers. My officer claims you don't have a license. Here it is. My officer said you don't have a license, stole the car, and murdered the owner. I bet that liar told you I was speeding, too. A girl was being robbed and she yelled, Help! A thief! So what did you do? I helped the thief. You look familiar. Shut up. You're not funny. What did the ocean say to the other ocean? I don't know. Nothing. They just waved. You're really not funny, by the way. Did you see what I did there? Shut up, you're not funny. Come on, I'm sure you did. 
Oh my god, no one likes you. Oh come on, don't be a beach. <gasps> You know that I won't stop I need to tell you something. You what is it, babe? I you broke your Xbox. You what? You Just kidding, play. I cheated on you. On so my I'll Xbox is okay, mine. right? Stop taking pictures of yourself. Make me. I'm sorry, but your mom already made that mistake. I'm actually just trying to find my celebrity lookalike, see? What? How do I do that? Just click the link on my profile. Then press celebrity lookalike and download it. <laughs> I got the same as you. <laughs> Son, give me your phone for a minute. Wait, Dad, let me turn it on. You know that I won't stop until I make you mine. Here you go. Thanks, I just wanted to check the time. Excuse me, sir. Is this bike for sale? Yes, it is. Would you like to purchase it? What's the lowest you'll go? What's the lowest I'll go? <sighs> Probably like... Two miles per hour. Anything slower and you'll tip over. Uh, excuse me, where's my table? Hi miss, uh, what's the name on the reservation? I don't need a reservation. I know the owner. I'm sorry, but we can't seat you unless you have a reservation. Are you serious? You're the worst waiter I've ever met. Just let me in. I'm sorry, but I can't. You either have to wait two hours or make a reservation for another night. You know what? You're gonna regret this. I'm gonna show you that I know the owner. Hi, sweetie. I need you to call the owner right now, please. Okay. Hello? Hey, how's it going? You're such a loser. I know you are, but what am I? You're such a nerd. All you do is study. You should be nice to nerd. Why? The chances are you'll end up working for one. It's about drive, it's about power We stay hungry, we devour Put in the work, put in the hours And take what's ours Like in some more in my veins My culture banging with Say sorry to your brother No Apologize right now You should apologize to me For having to look at your face Hello. Hey. How's it going? Good. <laughs> Wait, can I please take a picture of that? <laughs> Let me do that again. <laughs> You're funny. Doctor, I want some vitamins for my baby. Okay, vitamin A, B, or C. And it will work. He doesn't know the alphabet yet. Luke, have you seen my glasses anywhere? You broke them! Give them back to me! I'm sorry, Dad! It was an accident, I swear! It's okay. I'm not mad. Really? No. You just need to be more careful next time, okay? Yes, I will. Come here. <sighs> Never touch myself again! <laughs> Crazy laws that only exist in North Korea. In 2013, North Korea's leader made a law that there would only be 28 hairstyles allowed. 18 for the woman and 10 for the men. But the most unfair part is that the leader's haircut isn't even on the list. You can't watch your favorite shows on TV. They have three channels to choose from that are controlled by the government. The only people who are allowed to own cars are state officials. It's estimated that 1 to 10 in 1,000 people can own one. You can't make an international call. In 2007, a man was shot in a stadium because he made a call outside of North Korea. If you live in North Korea, you're forced to stay there for the rest of your life. Finally, if you thought the last one was crazy, you're not allowed to have your own opinions that go against the leader's rules. You'll be sent away to an educational camp where they'll threaten and torture you until you learn to not have your own opinion. Coffee or tea? Um, coffee. Wrong, it's tea. <gasps> have you ever wanted to get in shape at home but you don't know how to start? Well, let me show you how. First, click this link on my profile, then press workout from home and download it. Then once you open the app, fill in the information and choose your body goals. You can also select what muscle groups you want to work on. Then follow the videos it gives you and you'll see results. Thank me later. How long did you work during your last job? Around 30 years. And how old are you? I'm 20 years old. You're 20 years old and you have 30 years of experience? How is that possible? Overtime. <gasps> you have the job. 
Okay, double click on my computer. I can't see your computer. No, no, click on my computer on your computer. How can I click on your computer from my computer? Listen, there's an icon named my computer on your computer. Double click on it. What the heck is your computer doing on my computer? Double click on your computer. Which icon do I have to click? My computer. Then tell me where your house is and I'll come there and click on it! Uh, ah! Police, there's a bunch of people following me. Don't worry, I'm coming to save you. Where are you? On Instagram. <laughs> You failed your math test? Hey, don't look at my test. Please don't tell mom. Don't tell me what. Luke got an F on his test. <gasps> Let me see. <laughs> Good joke. Huh? <laughs> he got an A+. Plus. What? How? You want to go out for supper tonight? Yeah, sure. Okay, be ready in an hour. Are you ready? No, not yet. Hey ladies, how's it going? Ooh, I like your car. Can I see the inside? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> you don't even have Govi LED car lights? What? Do you know what Govi LED car lights are? Of course, everyone's been talking about them. You don't have any? No. Here, I have an extra. Hey ladies, how's it going? Uh, not you again. Wait, are those Govi LED car lights? Yep. Here's my number, call me. I'm just going to the bathroom guys, but remember, you guys are doing a test, so absolutely no talking, okay? I'll be right back. Hey, show me the answer to number two. Okay, here it is. Miss, Jake just gave Jesse the answer to number two. What? No he didn't. Class, is this true? Luke, why would you lie about that? That's not funny. Come with me to the principal's office. <laughs> I'll show you proof! Okay, but I need my phone. Listen to this. Hey, show me the answer to number two. Jesse and Jake, principal's office, right now! How did you do that, Luke? I use this app that lets you record the last two minutes of conversation after it happened so you never miss anything ever again. Wow, where can I get that? You can get it by pressing the button on my profile. Truth or dare? Um, dare. <laughs> I dare you to give me your phone number. Actually, never mind. I choose truth. Okay then. What is your phone number? <gasps> hey, can you help me load this money into the truck? Yeah, sure. So why'd you need my help? Don't other people work here? Well, I'm not actually a bank attendant. I just needed someone to blame. <laughs> Athletes who were caught cheating. In 2012, it was confirmed that cyclist Lance Armstrong had used drugs throughout his career to enhance his performance. He received a lifetime ban and got his seven Tour de France victories taken away. Tom Brady demanded that the balls being used in a game between the Patriots and the Indianapolis Colts were to be slightly inflated to gain an advantage. Although they won 45-7, to Brady was fined $4 million and banned for four games. Ben Johnson cheated to win the 100 meter dash in the 1988 Olympics. A prohibited anabolic steroid was detected in his samples, for which he was banned for two years. A few years later, he tested positive again and was banned for life. Finally, in the 1986 World Cup, in a game between Argentina and England, Diego Maradona scored a goal with his hand, and the referee counted it despite the evidence. My brother's in jail for something he didn't do. What didn't he do? He didn't run fast enough. I just met the woman of my dreams, what should I do? Send her some flowers and on the card invite her over for a home cooked meal. That's genius, thank you! I wonder how his meal went. Well that was a terrible idea. Didn't she come to your house? She did, but she refused to cook. <laughs> babe, I injured my hand! Is it okay now babe? 
Yes, thank you. Why do I even exist? Here's five things you didn't know about Spongebob. There was a replica of the Krusty Krab built in Palestine. The original name for Spongebob was Spongeboy Ahoy, but Spongeboy was copyrighted by a mob company. Tom Kenny, the voice actor for the anchovies, actually inhaled helium from a tank to do the voice. Carolyn Lawrence, the voice actor for Sandy, said she got lots of letters from prison and that was her biggest fan base. Barack Obama said his all-time favorite character is Spongebob Squarepants because he watched the show with his daughters. Now if you're from America or another country that doesn't have Spongebob on Netflix, you could click the link in my profile and download the app, then open it and change your location to Canada, and now when you search it up, you could watch it. 5 People Who Won The Food Lottery Part 7 This person grew braided carrots in their garden. This person ordered a McDouble from McDonald's and got 3 patties instead of 2. This person got 4 Reese's Peanut Butter Cups in a pack of 3. This person got a clump of cinnamon in their cereal, and this person got a giant clump of flaming Hot Seasoning. Three animals that saved human lives. One day at four in the morning, this parrot started squawking. Not because it was hungry, but because the laundry room was on fire. The loud noises from the parrot woke up its owners, then they ran outside and called the fire department. If it weren't for the parrot, their whole house could have been destroyed, and even worse yet, they could have been hurt badly. One winter night in Russia, someone heard a cat meowing outside their apartment, so they went to go and see it. When they got there, they realized it wasn't the cat making noises, it was actually a baby crying. If it weren't for the cat keeping the baby warm, it might not have survived in the cold. A five-year-old named Amber Mason and her family traveled to Thailand for a vacation. While they were there, Amber became friends with a four-year-old elephant. One morning when they were strolling the beach, an unexpected tsunami hit. The elephant rushed to the water to get Amber and pulled her to shore where her mother was waiting. If it weren't for the elephant, she could have drowned. And mind-blowing examples of the Mandela effect. The Monopoly Man never had a monocule on his eye. The monkey Curious George never had a tail. The end of Pikachu's tail was never black. Jiffy's peanut butter was never a thing, it's just Jif. One of C-3PO's legs is actually silver. Double stuffed Oreo cookies are spelled with one F. The word fruit in Fruit Loops was never spelled with two O's. The Flintstones is actually spelled with two T's. The Bernstein Bears is actually the Bernstein Bears. And finally, there's never been a hyphen in between the word Kit Kat. Who is the most popular TikToker in your province? Today, we've got Manitoba. With nearly 3 million followers, Luke Davidson is going to take the number one spot for Manitoba. He joined our live the other night, we chatted, he's a super cool guy, only 17 years old and really successful. Let me know what province you guys want to see next. Does anyone know of a bird that has wings but can't fly? Yeah, I know. Okay, tell us. A dead one. Who's at the door? It's the police. Why are you here? We want to talk to you. How many of you is there? Just two. Then talk to each other. Why are you late? My dad's in the hospital. Is your dad still in the hospital? Yeah, he's a doctor. I just moved into the apartment next door and I was wondering, how many rolls of wallpaper did you buy when you moved in? I bought 18 rolls. It's kind of funny, I put the wallpaper up everywhere and I still had 10 rolls left over. <laughs> so did I. <laughs> Dad has an iPhone 6 which is really glitchy and always dies halfway through the day. But since it's so small and he could barely see it, he uses an iPad mini at home. But the iPad mini isn't any better because it's either always dead or it's just as glitchy as his phone. Today's his birthday so I wanted to get him a new phone, but the problem is, the one he has now is a work phone, so instead I bought him a brand new iPad. <laughs> I still don't know what it is. iPad <laughs> Air. Is it like an iPad? Mm -hmm. like a new one? Maybe. How much are these worth? A couple bucks. <laughs> Shut up! I'm trying to sleep! Sorry, mommy, it won't happen again. It better not! Where do you live? With my parents. Where do they live? With me. Where do you all live? Together! Order! Order! One pizza, four breadsticks, and one cold- SHUT UP! No, seven up. Son, you better pass that exam or else forget me as a father! Sure, Dad. So, how was your exam? Who the heck are you? You know that. I grant you three wishes. I wish math didn't exist. Done. You have no more wishes. <gasps> Let's find out just how much you know about you know a boat. What would you do if a storm appeared? Throw out the anchor. Time. What would you do if another you storm appeared after? Throw out another I'll anchor. And if another storm appeared, what would you do? You know Throw out another anchor. Hold on. Where are you getting all your anchors from? The same place you're getting your storms. You <gasps>
Look who it is, Luke. Why don't we get a picture of you two?